So uh, here's a quick look at the uh, Forsetti Steel Boone uh, knife. Um, like most of the Forsetti Steel knives, uh, it's made of a uh, Damascus steel, which if I bring in nice and close, you can kind of see the marbled effect, um, which is two different types of steel kind of blended together to give this kind of really cool marbling. What you get as a result from that uh, is a blade that holds its sharpness really, really well. Um, but uh, it's also, by having a second different steel worked in there as well, gives it a little bit more flexibility because the harder a steel tends to be, the more likely it is to kind of snap or break or be very, very brittle. Um, it's got, this one has a uh, tarly wood handle. I actually had to look up tarly wood. I've not come across it before. It's commonly used in outdoor uh, construction, so it's very resistant to rotting and that kind of thing. So it's a suitable blade for, a sort of handle for this kind of knife. Um, I would say that this is <clears throat> kind of a hunting skinner slash camp campcraft kind of knife and you can tell by the way it's configured that we've thought a lot about the kind of needs that you would have for it. The blade itself is just over three inches long so it should be legal quote unquote in most states in the US. Uh, if I bring it in a bit closer I'm hoping you can see the groove that's put in the handle here. So what you have is a knife that sits very nicely in your hand when you're working uh, with camp craft and with skinning and you can see there's a nice bit of groove here for your thumb to have control you've got a guard here to your forefinger as well but what I like about it is with these little grooves here I can switch and use this knife in this direction as well if I'm doing kind of more precision work They've also put further uh, grips right up here on the tip of the blade. So again, you can use it for a lot more precision work as well. Uh, is this a dagger? Absolutely not. Uh, can you fight off zombies with it? Absolutely not. Um, but what this is, is a really, really nice camp craft knife. Um, the tang that runs through the middle of the blade, you can see here is surprisingly thick, as is the blade itself. I believe from memory, it's about three millimeters. So this is a properly sturdy blade. Um, I actually tested it out, stuck it into a log and bashed it down with the split logs and it's perfectly fine, perfectly happy doing that. But it was also perfectly good shaving off little bits of shavings uh, from wood to create tinder for a fire. So it's a great little camp craft or hunting knife. Uh, on the end here, they've actually put a, um, a hole in so you can put a lanyard or some cord off it as well so there's no danger of losing it, which I really, really like. And it's balanced as well. It sits quite nicely on your forefinger weight. The weight distribution's good. So it's a really nice workhorse of a knife, but actually it's also very pretty, which is quite common with a lot of the Forsetti steel knives. They're kind of nice to look at. They're beautifully well made. They're handmade as well, and it shows. Um, they're made in small batches. Um, so my word of advice is if you like the look of these knives, I wouldn't mess around uh, and decide whether to buy one or not because I certainly reviewed one knife in the past. I think it was the Light Toller knife. Was it the Light Toller or was it the Hemingway? It was the Hemingway. I reviewed the Hemingway knife, which was another really nice folding knife they did and it's now sold out. So um, the Forsetti steel knives have a tendency to sell out quite quickly because they're um, uh, because they're small batch. Uh, it also comes with this really nice little sheath. Uh, the leather sheath as well is a horizontal one, so you can mount this blade horizontally either behind you on your belt or in front of you. A lot of people have sort of said they don't like that, but I'm actually quite a big fan of horizontal uh, sheaths because uh, when you sit down, stand up, the knife never really gets in the way. Um, so you can simply reach behind you uh, to pull a knife out or even leave it on the front of your belt uh, or just off to the side of the front of the belt. So I'm actually quite a fan of, of this kind of knife being mounted that way. Uh, it also comes with a really nice uh, presentation box, the usual kind of stuff, and a lifetime guarantee, which is superb. Um, but there you go, that's kind of a super quick look. So uh, yeah, named after Daniel Boone, famous uh, US adventurer. Uh, and kind of wilderness slash outdoorsy person. Um, and uh, this is the Boone Knife uh, by Forsetti Steel. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. It really helps my channel and that kind of stuff. And I'll put a link to my full written uh, review uh, in the comments. So uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks very much.